Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Mini Intruder, and welcome back to Skyrim, where you join me in Rorikstead, in fact, because Rorikstead is pretty much like the furthest west we've really ever been on the map, aside from our brief drunken expedition over to Markarth. So yeah, today, we're going to be heading north, towards the Horn of Jürgen Windcaller, but first I just want to very quickly check around here, make sure there's nothing to do in Rorikstead, because my brain is telling me no, there is literally no quest and nothing of interest here. There's a fair few houses. Surely someone must want something. Well, this is a promising sign. I just walked into the pub and I didn't kind of immediately run into two people arguing, No, you'll never be able to defeat that frost troll. Our father's sword will be lost forever. No, surely someone will show up eventually and be able to rescue our father's sword from the den of the frost troll. It's like, no. No, that hasn't happened on this occasion. So, uh, we're good. Anything of interest at all around here? Nope. Literally, he just wants to sell me booze. Just feels to me like Rorikstead like, must have some form of like horrible, horrible secret underbelly. Like, you know, they're all actually murderers and they kill people that come through this town or something. Because, uh, yeah, just nothing seems to happen here. It's just a town that seems to exist for basically no reason. Aside from, this is where Okia came from. And, ooh, hello. Ooh, I like the look of that symbol up there. Yeah, I know you said we were going after like the Horn of Jürgen something or other, but no, I've just been distracted. Because I like the look of that symbol up there. That's a good symbol, right flipping there. Now, if I recall correctly, I have seen saber cats in this area before. But now I've got Animage and the double-charged calm and whatever. I think we should be pretty good. So if we need to, just straight up, yeah, be able to calm those guys. And then just run straight past them. So hopefully, should be alright. We're detected by something. Wait, what was detecting us just then? Was it the butterfly? Pretty part of the world, this especially when the light is lovely and kind of warm and red as it is right now. So we've got ourselves... Ah! Oh, 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 hello. Hello, what's going on over there? Something's going on. Oh, this, this could be an excellent time for me to try out my lovely sanguine rose. Yep, hang on. Hang on, just go. Go, Dramora Lord. Go, 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 go. It's all up to you now. Oh, also I'm being attacked by a wolf. Oh no, I'm being attacked by a death hound. That seems worse. Oh dear, the, the, the hound is actually quite dangerous, in fact. Right, the hound, um, Dramora Lord. I may have made a slight miscalculation here. Bloody hell. Right, so, death hounds. I know he let me down a little bit there, but I'm just going to assume that Dramora Lord, like, he was off doing a really important good thing over there. Like, he murdered the hell out of the other guys, okay? That's what I'm assuming. Okay, so, important thing to go differently this time. I need to see the Death Hound before the Death Hound sees me. That isn't what just happened. In comes the Death Hound. Right, okay, can't. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. It's fine. You know why it's fine? We're under control. Also, the Death Hound. Okay, peace. You're not an animal. Right, Dramora Lord, protect me. Protect me, Dramora Lord. Just, Dramora Lord, where, where's the Dramora Lord gone? You haven't helped. For goodness sake, Dramora Lord. I'm determined, determined the Dramora Lord is actually going to be helpful here, alright? I'm just going to summon him here, he's going to run forward, and he's going to find the demon dog, the death dog, whatever. You know what, in you go, in you go, me and you, friends now, yeah, that's right. Now you, me and you are coming over here, right? Yep, they're going to now immediately see me, and you are going to run over in that direction and deal with the death dog, yeah? Yeah, yeah, deal with the death dog. That's right, oh yes, lovely. Now, now I'm feeling it better, yes. Right, and now you just go for you. Now, no, 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 he's running away for it or will soon run away. Right, now, go over there. You go over there, lovely. Now you are doing, do ooh, vampire's thrall. Oh, bloody hell. Don't get one-shotted. This may not be a good place for me to be. Right, just put marked for death over there. This guy represents trouble potentially. Death hound's almost down now. You are going to be trouble. And come on, almost done. Yep, there we are. Oh, I put it on you instead. Right, now you need to go down soon. That's right, all of us together. All of us together. Just don't use the lightning spell on me, please. You must be nearly dead. Oh, bloody hell, right. How are you doing? You're dead? Yep, now you go on ahead, please. And I need you to tank for me. There we go. And... There we are, got marked for death on you. Now, what exactly are you, and can we... Oh dear, you're turning to me! Right, I need to potentially get myself a new one of... I was hoping you'd do... I wonder if I can heal you, actually. I mean, you're a demon. Do healing hands even work on demons? You know what? J 
just maybe get out of here for a second. Lovely. Oh, wait, you're not even dead. You're just down on the ground. That's intriguing. Right, now just get you... Oh, dear. Right, even with the mark for death, right? No, screw you. And now... Now just block you. Weapon recharge. Oh, the weapon has insufficient charge. Right, hang on. Need to fix that in a hurry. Luckily, I'm still carrying a bajillion different little... Oh, yeah. That gets the charge back up nice and quick. Right. Screw you. Just go, 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 go. No. Don't let it use the lightning spells. Down, down. Yep, yeah, you're dead. Lovely. Now, who else is floating around here? Get some healing going on for a second here, because whoever's throwing the lightning in, it's pretty bloody nasty lightning. Let's get a flame atronach in here. We don't need the Dramoral Lord under all circumstances. You can do a pretty good job just kind of, you know, distracting, drawing attention, etc. Now, who's left? I mean, I see... Oh, I saw some red a second ago. Seems to have vaguely... Ooh. Where'd it go? We saw some red. Moldering Ruins. Ooh, that, that sounds like the sort of place you don't want to be, but all right, fine. Got ourselves, ah, the door to the Moldering Ruins. You put your thing right on top of it. I'll grab all of this, by the way. Plentiful stamina, lovely. No, we seem to be hidden. I wonder what the other, yeah, what was the other one then? Okay, this is intriguing. The Moldering Ruins, there's more ruins over there. A collapsed tower. Okay, before we go in here, I just want to see what's in that collapsed tower. Because that feels like there's not much there. It's just a staircase up to a collapsed tower. Surely that's got to be pretty on the quiet. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, never mind. I thought I saw red for a second. No, but uh, clearly mind is playing tricks on me. I'm just scared of more vampires showing. Oh, wait, hang on. No. Ah! No, no, no. Oh, dear. Is that a... No, you're not a death hound. You're just a wolf. Well, you're fine. I see the staircase up there. Uh, How do we get up to it? That's the question. Do we have a... Ah, here we go. We've gotten up here. What's this big old empty tower for? Bleak Wind Bluff. Okay, if I had to rate that on likelihood that somebody's going to murder me up here, I'd put it at like... I was about to say 5 out of 10, but then I saw the spikes. I've just decided to elevate that to 7. Ah, it's Forsworn. Okay. Honestly, I don't really have a trouble with you, to be honest. If you guys just want to be here, that's fine. Maybe we'll end up flipping siding with you in Markarth, so yeah. If you're willing to just not attack me on site, you just don't want me to enter your tower, that's fine. It's your tower, I just won't come in here. Well, I'm not feeling 100% great about these here mouldering ruins, but sure, I'll give it a look at least. Oh yeah, we've got people right down there. Right, grab the torch. Let's get ourselves in darkness here. See if we can spy exactly what's going on. So we're looking at... There was someone here, I saw someone move in this area. What's going on in here? I mean, it's definitely vampires. I can see the flipping open coffin and all of that, but... Probably we're all... Yeah, it's okay. It's all fine. I do see a treasure chest over there. I like a good treasure chest. I feel like some of these are going to potentially open very soon. And I've got some sneak, if nothing else. Master Vampire! Oh, that's not good. I can even actually choose to sleep in a coffin. Ooh, that's nice. Wait, the fact that I'm even allowed to kind of try and do that worries me slightly. That feels like a- ooh. You guys just haven't seen me yet. That's intriguing. Right, back into the shadows, quick as you like. The fact that I'm allowed to try and sleep in a coffin. If I had to guess, I'm gonna say I've picked up some vampirism. Have I picked up vampirism? No, I'm just allowed to sleep in a coffin anyway. I assume that meant I'd like picked up some basic vampirism there. Right, so, I can see we've got some trouble going on here. Can I potentially fury you guys? Give it a go, and there, there we are. No, he's too powerful for it. And I'm guessing, yeah, the Master Vampire also resists it. No chance of that flying. Dramora Lord, help me! Save me, Dramora Lord, lovely! Get some light going on too, marvellous. Now, by any chance, yeah, the Dramora Lord, how are you going to do here? Because if I mark for death and whack these guys in the back... Then we've got, how are you doing? Master Vampire's not looking so hot, to be honest. In fact, actually, we're, we're barely touching him. Now he's turning to me. Then, oh no, he's doing his vampire thing. Ah, that's why we're not doing anything to him. Uh, because he's got his sucky, kind of, you know, strength ability. Right, you know what? I've got a plan here. My plan is, search this chest. Is there anything good here whatsoever? Uh, Elven Shield of Waning Shock. Theoretically, might be useful in time. I've already got, oh, actually... 
Adept Road's Destruction. Go! Just take the Adept Road's Destruction. See what's going on down here. That's a dead end. Okay. We might be able to just run it and grab the stuff and then get out again. Because it feels to me like there's actually nothing in here other than these two people. I can't fury them. They're too powerful for that. And you know what? Let's just give it a go. Illusion spells 25% stronger. I'm not sure whether that means for Illusion 25% higher level cap or just that. But you know what? Let's give it a go. See if I can pull this off. Ah, uh, no. She's too powerful for Fury. That's never going to fly. And the Master Vampire even resists Khan, which is my most powerful ability. No, you know what? We're just going to leave these guys be, I think. Well, leave these guys be, but I want the stuff. So, just drop you over there. They all run over to deal with that. I run and grab their stuff. And now, we just try and get out of here as quickly as possible. Where's the exit? It's somewhere over... Oh, bloody hell, I should have turned the lights on before I came this far. Right, I see it over there. Right, go, 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 go. Just back outside. Good luck with the candlelight vampires. Boom, boom, boom. Out we come. And if they want to follow me outside, they're flipping welcome to try. It's daylight. So that there, I'm going to call victory me. And I even get my restoration up a little bit there. You see, the vampires helped. Now, we probably want to head down this way too. Yeah, we need to join back up with the road to go north. Because there's a nice uh, road I can follow. That presumably will have signs and lead me through to Morthal. And here we are heading back out of town. Little house on the left. And if I'm calling correctly, this is a house that's... I think it's like been like infested with rats or something. I think we're kind of about to walk into rat centres. It's like an abandoned house over here. Just slightly off the path. But yeah, full of... Something bad. Something bad is in this house. I just can't remember exactly what it is. I, my mind is telling me rats. Yes, indeed. Skeevers. Would have called it that way. Lovely, 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 lovely. And I guess my one adds up too. Better and better. Would you believe inside Lund's hut, where there's just loads of skeevers outside, it's basically just more skeevers, if I recall correctly. Yep, they're just attacking me before I can even see what's going on, the bastards. In fact, it's weirdly glowy in here. Why is it weirdly glowy? Oh, it's because of you. You're still following me around. Fine. And there's Lund of Lund's house. He's sadly been a bit eaten by these things. And nothing major there. there. Must be a book. You're a named character. There must be something going on here. Actually, not as far as I can see. No notes, no books of value. Just one treasure chest. And you yourself have nothing on you. Okay, this is all slightly mysterious. You know what, never mind. Maybe, just maybe, a guy who got eaten by rats was just a guy who got eaten by rats. Maybe, sometimes, there's not a story to it. Ooh, and we've even got some lovely northern lights today. Oh, that's nice. Do you like the northern lights in Skyrim? They're very, very pretty indeed. Still, following day, so I've got good visibility, and I've also waited through to early afternoon, because this was the first time we actually had any good weather. Visibility was appalling in the rain. Let's just follow this here road down, because this road seems to be leading me... Pretty much the perfect direction. I know I can't go too much flipping further because I can literally see the sea over there, I think. Wait, hang on. North? Yeah, there'd be sea to the north. That vaguely makes sense, right? Ah, but also, dragon. Got to decide what to do about... Hang on, just maybe find a nice place to hide. If that dragon decides to cause trouble, it seems to be circling over there. Which would suggest it's got someone in mind who's not... No, not me. Not me. Not me. I know I'm the Dragonborn and all of that, but seriously, sometimes attack something else. Uh, yes. Yes, it would make sense to see over there. That does indeed make a lot of sense. Good. So I've basically got to hit a river. Then there's a big island. Then if I just follow the river down, if I just basically head pretty much straight to the objective, I should hit Morthol. So if need be, I can literally try and run to Morthol to get away from this dragon. Though I don't really want to fight that one. For the moment at least, I'd like to fight dragons when I've actually got some, like, you know, help. And it's naffing off over there better and better. I don't see any reason to cause trouble with this here. Ah, there's the road. There's the road. Good. Maybe we'll just stick to the road because otherwise we're just throwing ourselves off a cliff. Though something around here's annoyed at me. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Um... Why exactly are we fighting? Are we... You're just some person with a bow. You're just a basic bandit. Are you actually just a basic one? Are you 100% sure about this? Alright, fine. And just attack it. Really, I'm going to give you one. You know what? Never mind. You don't get a chance to flee. What the hell was your bloody deal? And after that, just some basic wolves. You know what? I like it when there's just basic wolves in the world. Basic wolves are fine. I can just whack them with a big stick. 
and me and that there dagger in front of me can just join ourselves on a lovely jaunt down this hill. It's always nice going downhill, isn't it? Now, there's a cave over there. Uh, I think I can do without that, to be honest. Now, the road is... Uh, there's no road signs. But this road's now going around here, which doesn't feel right. Is there going to be a... There's going to be a bridge, right? I think I need to actually be heading, yeah, up the... That's just a deer, don't panic. Yeah, I need to be heading up in that direction. If this road's heading over in this direction, where's this going? Uh, hang on. This will be potentially leading me up towards the Dragon Bridge if it stays on this side of the river. Uh, yeah, the Dragon Bridge and then maybe up towards Solitude in the long run. That's not really the direction I want to go. Uh, probably I want to break off from the road right here and just swim in that case because I don't see a bridge up ahead. So this path doesn't feel like it's going the right way at all for me. Let's make sure we've got no trouble. No, I think it looks safe for now. Nice, I'm liking this part of the world. We're making some fast progress here. Ah, but camp over there. Uh, probably need to be aware of... My brain's telling me that's going to be where some Forsworn are. And I need to be careful of them, because, yeah, we know we're in their territory now. Saw something earlier. Um, some form of... Well, it looks like a nice house. Like a woodworking thing up there, which I approve of. That's a camp. That might mean... Mm. Well, it has, uh, has a little palisade. It's never good when there's a little palisade, to be honest. That's always... A oh, hello! I mean, you're going to be fine. You know what? I think you are fine for me to just go in and murder. So I'm just going to... Maybe not that murder. Well, unfortunately, electricity has an elemental advantage over water, so screw you, mud crab. Oh, but as a mud crab, you're probably a ground water type. But actually, you know what? Doesn't seem to be doing you much good so far. Destruction's going up. You're not even bothering to come over here. Screw you. Dead. Right. This thing around here. If it's forsworn, that means they won't attack me on sight. They'll just be like, hey, uh, keep your distance. Not really sure we like you here. Robber's Gorge. Gonna be honest, that strikes me as more like, you know, bandits than forsworn. But it could just be a name. Could just be a name. Oh. Bandit chief. No, 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 no. No. It wasn't just a name. Oh, well, actually, you know what? I think I can see that guy through here. And it Oh, darn. Didn't quite get him. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I got someone. I got flipping someone. Nice. I actually did hit one of you. Oh, nice. I missed the guy I was aiming at, but hit the guy behind him. So that's just better and flipping better. By any chance, would you guys like to keep kind of being in a really good position for me to just kind of toss fury at you? Because this strikes me as a really good... What just bloody hit me? A really tough archer, that's what. You guys presumably don't know where I am, right? I mean, like, who on earth could possibly be seeing me at this point? Well, weirdly, someone thinks they've got a shot at me because I'm flipping seeing lightning coming this way. Finally, they've lost interest. Marvellous. Now, peer down at them from above. We've got the cliff face right here. Now, wherever they are, we should be able to get another fury on a few of them. I love furying bandit camps. It's just my favourite thing. There we go. Ah, oh, bandit home and too powerful for fury. That is annoying. Right, so there's multiple high women who I can't fury. Even if I wanted to, uh, you know what? We should probably just give up on this place. I don't think it's going to go. But somewhere around here, yeah, we should have a, a nice house. But I think it's on top of that match. Oh, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's right here. So who lives here and are they going to eat me? Because these are the big questions, damn it. Crabber's shanty. Right. Guy who took out mud crabs. Fine. He did indeed successfully Find kill some. Ooh. That fire. Don't burn anything down now. Um, literally, well, I suppose I've got a weapon that does have a fire effect on it. I'll put it away. Hello! I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. That's good. By any chance, did your brother lose a sword in a cave years ago and you'd give anything to get it back? It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Yarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? No, no dead brother missing sword. That's a shame. Right, so now we want to be heading, yeah, we need to be heading up in this direction, just along this river. Because I suspect when we get to the end of it, we'll be very close by to Morthal. Though, can't help but notice, ooh, that's a proper little barrow thing. Yep, I like a proper little barrow thing. Hello, by any chance are you guarded? Or are you just wide open? If you're wide open, I'm exploring, damn it. What's this? Ruins that someone's already squatting on, or... Seems quite for now. 
Dead men's respites. Okay. This seems quiet. And it's got a very friendly name that's totally fine and not going to lead to me dying. A couple of ruined books and whatnot. Okay. You know what? I'm going to give this a go. This seems fine to me, I'd say. Night is coming on anyway. Let's actually spend night inside. Now what have we... Ah! That's a ghost over there. Okay. That's intriguing. Yeah, we've got ourselves ghosts. When it says dead man's respite, it's not kidding. Lots of dead men. Shouldn't be too surprised by that, I suppose. Right. Ghosts generally aren't too bad. Let's get out the flame atronach right now. And get them going on here. Right, you. Forward. Let's see what we've got. And they haven't seen me yet. Normally they'd hear me casting the spell, right? Put up some light here. Lovely. Guys. Hello. Are you wanting to speak to me? Are these guys wanting to speak? Yeah. Oh. You're not attacking me. You want me to follow you. Ah, okay. Got myself a dragon claw. Everything's about to go wrong, isn't it? Yeah, everything was about to go wrong. Right. Uh, right. So, luckily, I can take you out. No. Excuse me. You can just be hit with marked for death. Uh, where? Oh, dear. Right, I'm now surrounded by these guys. Right, take out the big lads. Right, round the back here. Are we really off cooldown yet? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost. Marked for death for everyone. Nice. You're dead and you're dead too. Yeah, I'm getting a weird bug at the minute, which is the health bar is always showing my companion. Which is, or in fact, my, you know, my Atronach or my raised person. Which is actually kind of annoying because I'd like it to be my enemy. That would be much more useful. Uh, I'll have to see if I can find a fix for that. Yeah, I should have just gone around murdering those guys before I lifted up the obvious trap. Ooh, potion of strength. Ah, and the Skyrim door at the back here. Fine, obvious. Uh, now... We're following a ghost. I don't remember this place at all. I've no idea what I'm walking into. All I know is a ghost wants me to follow them. And that's probably a terrible idea, but whatever, I'll go with it. And yeah, the ghost is blatantly leading me into traps here. I don't like this ghost. Okay, watch out for floor traps. There's going to be quite a few of them. I've got myself a dragon claw. Sooner or later, we've got one of those doors. Got ourselves... Ooh, I'll always help myself to a petty soul gem, though. Yep, fine. And... What's the deal here? Oh, nope, never mind. Just a pattern on the floor. Okay. Pull the chain and... Yeah, I see you there. And potentially more dead monstrosities want to kill me. Oh, but... Okay. We've got ourselves... I'm pretty sure that's... That oil on the ground? No, there's just a... Why is there a weird hanging thing? I don't trust that one bloody bit. Well, plus, I know you're not getting up because I can loot you ahead of time. Ooh, we're dealing with spiders now. Okay. Well, as we've already got their attention, let's just get a flame atronach out there because that will add to my conjuration skill. You can now distract the spider. And now... Ooh, bloody hell. Well done. You just push forward. Apparently, the spiders are just feeble before you. Right, go for that. Swing, swing, swing. Lovely. Any more? No, I think we're good. Ah, I think we're in a maze right now, actually, aren't we? Yeah, I think we... What are you taking on over there? What have you found? Is it is it another spider? Hello? He's murdering something. Flame the... Wait, what? Ah, you've picked a fight with something the far side of a rock door. Well, flipping done. Right, so yeah, I'm solving a little maze right now, aren't I? That's what I'm doing, because I need to find the things to pull that open up alternative routes and solutions. Okay. And hidden inside here, we've got a chest, which apparently I can just unlock. And 13 gold in there for my trouble. Not even flipping worth it. Right. Now, we know the, where the first one is. There's one right here. So we can crack that open and presumably my... Ah! There you go! No, no, no! Take the thing! I think we got a marked for death on you. That. I think he just ran straight into a trap and immediately got himself killed. Well done. Well flipping done. Right, let's just send Flame Atronic up ahead. He can just scout ahead for me. Well, probably her, to be honest. But then, you know, I probably shouldn't make that assumption. Just because, you know, it's got, like, boobs doesn't mean it's uh, her. It's a flame demon. Oh, dear. You're going to come to life then. Anyone else in here? No, I think we're good. We're probably good just to start whacking you. You are restless. You're restless. Okay. Got a few good hits on you. And, oh! No, 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 no. Flame Atronach. This is what you're for. Right, there we are. Right, get the he on him. Lovely. Get some good hits in. 
Yeah, for whatever reason, I'm seeing how my Atronach's doing. Oh, you're a white. Okay, that's a concern. Right, as I'm under fire, I'm just going to go for a dragon skin right now because it will help me with the magic. Yep, that'll let me absorb the magic. Ah, gosh darn it. No, it wasn't fast enough. I didn't realize there were two of them that were going to be that dangerous. Right, there's the white. Let's just keep getting the stuff on him. Uh, so Flame Mantra is going to keep him busy for the time being. What's the best thing I can do to him in the meantime? Probably just whack him a bit. If I can get behind him, then we can just potentially... Oh, you know what? I think we can just straight up outpower him. Because right now there's only one of them. The Restless is at a distance. So we'll just go for you and make sure we get your soul. Yep, got a common soul gem there. And you have exploded from being dead. That's fine. Get a new one of you. Uh, excuse me, Restless Draugr. Stop that. Oh, Conjuration's up. Right, I need to get some healing going on here because you're going to get some damage on me pretty quickly here. And just run past him. There we go. Thank you. Well done. And double bound sword, please. Yep, there we go. We'll get you down in a hurry because you are worth a lesser soul gem to me. Job done. Yeah, these guys are pretty damn good at just kind of gifting me soul gems. It's kind of what I consider the main use. You're not even flipping awake yet. Bloody deep sleeper. Didn't even realize any of that was going on. Right, can we sneak up on him? No, we can't. Well, that's fine. Just go, go, go. Marked for death. Go and now back off and let you do some of the work. Distract that guy, please. As soon as he comes around the corner, I'll just get around the back of him. And, yep, yeah, there we are. Now, when I'm not under attack, nice and simple. And that is another soul captured. Lovely. And almost got myself murdered by a battering ram. They're bloody clever. You know what? I was going to pretend I meant to do that because now I get the opportunity to do some restoration. Far side of that, we've got... Ooh, the buying game. That's going to be surely... Yes, indeed. Speech plus one. Lovely. And that has indeed now opened up the way to get down to the bottom. Yet more flipping traps. I don't like this ghost. Not one flipping bit do I like this ghost. Why am I suspicious that there's two of these guys? One's burning and one isn't. That makes me very suspicious. Also, more flipping web yet... Oh, yeah. Right, back off for a second here. Get myself a flame atronach. Right, you can block the door. Go on, then. Let's get some flames in here. My old friend, flames. You resist flames, but these guys behind you don't. And then we'll just get all of the extra damage on you. You're actually taking a lot of damage, in fact. You're taking loads of damage, uh, but you're dead. So that's nice. And almost dead, almost dead, almost dead. And just in the nick of flipping time. Lovely. Now, hang on. Where do I go next here? We've got... You're dead, right? Yeah, you're dead. We've got total cave-in here. And then we've got... Ah! Do I need to go down? In which case, where's the lever? Ah, we've got a chain here. That opens up that, and... At a very conveniently spooky time, my light goes out. There we go, that's better. So, that opens up... That, fine. This is nothing major there. Yeah, I think we're just diving down here with no way back out again. So that's marvellous. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm not flipping going down first. All right, you know what's going down first? Atronach's going down first. And... Can I... Atronach's not going down first. I hate you, Atronach. You suck. Right, down, 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 down. And now, cast a new Atronach. I can't cast anything down here, because right now I can't do anything down here. Well, that's just marvellous. It's even down here, by the way. I've got anything good. Uh, doesn't look like it. Right. Get over here. I can't even get my weapon out right now. Now I can't. Right. Let's get an Atronach out here, just in case. I suspect I want something ahead of me to block. Because there's something living down here that I don't like the look of. And Oh, it's just rats. Okay, I'm just getting spooked out by rats here. Okay, everything's under control. It wasn't under control after all. Oh, you're just a basic, actually. You know what? Maybe things are fine. There we go. Screw you. Right, we've got more coming in yet, though. Oh, yeah. This is a big room. This is a very big room. Um, We're going to have more popping out yet. You're just restless. That's manageable. You go in there first, please. Start getting some just light taps on him. And we'll get the he in on him. For marked for death. I would like to just push forward, to be honest. Just push forward. You know what? I don't trust this room one bit. You know what I'm doing? I'm getting out my new friend. And... Boom! I'm guessing, yeah, you can't exist in the same universe as that. So he's now going to go take care of that for me. Lovely. He's... 
You are the worst Dramora Lord. Also, do you always have the same name? Uh, yes, yes you do. You're Kinvel. Kinvel, I like you, but you're not being useful right now. What I want you to do is go... Yeah, you, there, there you go. Now I've woken up a few more people. That's going to be sort of helpful. Um, wait, where's the... I feel like I need a lever. Okay, so he's run forward to take care of at least some of this stuff. But I feel like I need to take out the other. But the problem is, uh, that guy up top is totally... Yeah, you're an archer. It's going to take me a while to basically do much to you, unfortunately. You can actually damage me faster than I can damage you. Right, just get him down, get him down, get him down, get him down. There, there we go. The thing that... I could have just opened the gate at any time. I think he's also just actually killed everything for me. That's... Careful of them. Right, he's taking some damage. I'm going to see if I can actually healing... Ha oh, I don't need to flipping healing hands at him. He's just gone and flipping murdered everything. In fact, I think he just ceased to exist. Yeah, he just murdered everything for me. Which is actually kind of bad. I need to be careful of that, because if he just murders everything, I'm not getting any conjuration benefit from that. He's actually kind of, yeah, he's a bit too good for his own good. I just need to be able to start conjuring my own guy using my own conjuration skill. Then actually get some sort of benefit from it. But it's nice to know, if the room gets a bit crowded, that guy can do good work. Also, yeah, I do need to check at some point. Can I use healing hands on him to keep him going? Because if so, that'll be hilarious. Now, this thing right here. My plan basically is, I'm just going to do this, and that came close to working. Okay, how wide is this? There's like three of them right through. And now I'm safe, right? Yeah, now I'm safe. Now through. And now I'm safe. And through. Lovely. Right, probably we can just turn those off again. Yeah, there we are. That's better. Turn those off. Head up top. And now we've got ourselves... Oh, I like this room. This room's pretty. Right, I assume through here we're going to have uh, the actual... No, I was expecting to see the dragon door straight ahead of us. To plug in the ruby dragon claw thingy. But, not just yet at least... Ooh, hello. We've got ourselves an arcane enchanter. You don't see these just in the middle of dungeons that often. That's a little bit... Why? Why, 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 why? Why is this just here? There must be a reason. Okay, can I do something special with it? Hang on, let me just check if anything's showing up that I wouldn't normally expect. Nope, just the normal stuff as far as I can tell. Nothing major here at all. I guess someone was just doing some enchanting here. Fair enough, I guess. I enjoy a bit of enchanting myself. Ooh, but... Door? Different way down. Open sealed door. And sealed by a magical barret. Right, we need to work around that then. And we've got... Oh, are you an overlord? Oh, you're a scourge. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, I'd like you to... Okay, I really, really need this. Okay, I'm going to summon another one to see if I can just distract him a bit better. Yeah, because I need you to distract him. Actually, if he's going to do dragon shouts, that kind of works for me. Because dragon shouts are kind of like they stun you for a second, but they're not actually that useful. And it's very dark right now, so there's some light going on here. And we've got... Oh, we've got more yet, though. Right, hit both of those guys with... Oh, dear. Right, I need to take care of you. No, excuse me. Stop doing that, please. Right, I need to get some damage in on you. Um, You are now turning your attention over here. You've died. That's good. Now, the Scourge's attention's over here. Just keep putting the Mark Death on him because his arm is going down and down. He's just actually taking damage over time too. But I've got to keep an eye as to whether I think my guy just died. Right, as my guy's just died, time to get out of here for a second and get another one of them up. So, uh, now, another one of them up and now round the outside of him. Fuss row, da. Oh, he knows da. I actually feel like I should just... Oh, dear. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's right. Attention on him. Nice. Now... <laughs> Hit him with another one of those. I think it's actually sadly on my action act as well, but never mind. And now, if I can, I can also actually stun him a bit. And you are being slowly stunned. Come on. Put another mark for death on him. And, oh dear, not quite ready yet. Not quite ready yet. Not quite ready. Actually, you know what? We're probably fine to finish you off. I've leveled up, apparently. That's nice. Let's just finish you off with some sparks. This isn't even remotely going to work. This is not... Oi! Come back here, you! And then... Just zappy, 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 And down he goes to lightning. It's not that effective, but it's badass. Or it would have been if we'd seen him. Camera. Right. You are, uh... Actually, I'm not even sure where you live in the hierarchy. Are you above or below an overlord? Are you just an overlord when it's not at the end of a dungeon? I'm guessing that's what you are. Well, kind of, but notice more flipping trap pressure plates. Yeah, oh... If I take that, something really bad's going to happen, isn't it? No? 
Maybe, ah, maybe that was going to do a terrible magic thing to me, except it didn't because I didn't step on the plate. Fine. In that case, I'll just have your money then. Also, you haven't woken up yet. Well, that's nice. I will just quickly uh, do some good stuff to you then. And then just, no, block, and then just stagger you, and then screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you. Lovely. There's more awake here yet, though. Ah, but Sneak's just gone up as well, because whatever's down here doesn't know exactly where we are. But something's down there. I can see it. One expert locked door before we carry on awake. That's probably good stuff. And very luckily, it looks like it's actually right by the starting point. Yes, it is. Only broke one lockpick there. Back away in case it's a trap. Nope. We're good. Job flipping. Also, check for the pressure things. Ooh, master locked. You know what? I'm just not bothering. We're not bothering with that. I'm not losing the flipping lockpicks on it. Now, what do we have down here? Big open room. Ooh. Big open room and something's aware of me. Ah! You, you're aware of me. Can I just basically put marked for death on you forever? And that would actually work pretty... Yeah, actually, you know... Oh, oh dear. I think I've just... Why is any of this happening? Right, you, you're just a basic lad. Oh, wait, hang on. You're marked as a basic lad. You seem a lot tougher than a basic lad. Right, okay. That was false advertising. Now, I could just open up the thing down here. If you're just... Yeah, what exactly are you? Why are you causing me so much flipping trouble? Right. You know what? Screw it. Friend. Dramora Lord, you're with me. Lovely. Right. I'm going to back off for a second. And you are going to murder everyone for me. Yes. Yes, you are. You know what? I like you. I like you a lot. And we're totally going to have more people to murder in here. You're just restless. I smell weakness. And then we'll just whack you with a big stick together. Lovely. And you're going to die soon. Nice. And you're going for someone else too. And just just attack him. Just attack him. Just go. You know what? It's fine. I'm just going to stagger him for you. There you are. Take a swing. Thank you, Dramora. And he's going for someone else as well. We've got a chest over here. I'll have some of that as well. And ooh. Oh. You killed my Dramora Lord. I like my Dramora Lord. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Shout. And then just batter you. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. You know what? Let's get uh, just a basic flame out track out here. And boom, around the back of you. And yep, Flame Atronax is keeping him busy for a second while I just recharge. And now I can get in there, get the killing glow. Nice. And uh, Flame Atronax still around. Yeah, the Flame Atronax seems pretty tanky. Weirdly, the Dramora Lord, though it hits really hard, doesn't actually seem to hang around that long. It does seem to struggle to stay upright. Now, is everyone in here dead now? Yeah? All right, good. We still haven't even flipping made it to the door to enter the claw yet. <laughs> Which I find ridiculous. Oh, and it's dark. Better. Right, activate the handle. Crack that open. Are we nearly there yet? Come on. Give me a... Ooh. Hang on. Well then... Where's the door? Hello. Yeah. That's right, but... King of Laughs first. Oh! Right! I'm doing that quest! This, this is the quest in Solitude, isn't it? Yeah, um, I'd like to pretend like I came here because I had such a great appreciation for your poetry or music or whatever, but actually, um, I just came here looking for loot. Well, then what's the claw for? I'll have six golds off you, and I'll have this important... Oh, no, someone scratched out parts of it, dear, oh, dear. Uh, so, I'll just be having that. And you've now disappeared because your book is in the hands of someone who, well, blatantly, like, has no interest in it whatsoever. I'm just a treasure hunter. I'll probably just go to the market and sell it. Actually, I'm probably not allowed because it's almost sent you a quest item. Um, so now that that's there, where's the flipping Skyrim door? Can I just pull the chain again? Close up that. Um, there must be a Skyrim door, surely. I mean, hang on. Right now there's... Ah! I want to have that open. Yeah, then the front door's open, but... No, there has to be something else more here. I'm missing something. If I am, it's really not obvious. I mean, this looks like the sort of thing that ought to open, but I've taken the thing. I've looted you. There's no handle or anything. Huh. I think I've just found a Skyrim dungeon with no Skyrim door. That's remarkable. Ah! Wait a flipping minute. I'm on my way out. Ah! 
the magically sealed door. Which he's now going to... Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, dear. You're not done yet, are you? I kind of assumed you'd be done, but you've just got a sword out, and that worries me immensely. Right, so a quick look at the thing. It is, I think, actually, Wolf Dragon Wolf. So we'll just do that. Give it a little wiggle, see if that was right. That's right. Put it in, shake it about. Door seems to... No, misread that. No, 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 wait. Wolf, Eagle, Wolf. Am I going to find these things, like, hard to read, by the way? Like, seriously, like, it says zoom, but, like, you don't seem to actually be able to zoom or anything. I find it a little bit tricky to actually, like, see sometimes. <laughs> Genuinely, I do. Right, I think that's right. There we go. That's better. And this time, it's not all flipping owls. It's three flipping dragons. I do find these doors confusing. Right. Up we go, and oh dear. Oh, this looks like a final boss room. Right, get out the nice axe. In fact, actually, you know what? This feels like a large fight. What I'm going to do straight away is I'm going to recharge the damn thing. There we are, much better. And I'm also going to level up, because I've just got one of those in my pocket right now. Beautiful. And I think we should probably take a little bit more health, actually. There we go, because I've probably got a little bit less health than I'm used to, because I've given up the health armour, which probably was a mistake, but you know what? I like the idea of having some nice scaled armour going on. And you know what I could probably just do with some straight up more damage here? I just want my one-handed weapons to be doing more damage at this point. I could have fighting stance for power attacks. Uh, no, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to keep boosting the damage. Let's just get some more damage going here. In fact, my next pack, I could probably do that again. That would almost certainly be worthwhile. Now let's start off with just a basic flame atronach. No, flame atronach, please. Thank you. Let's get one of those in because you are about to cause trouble with someone, aren't you? Oh, oh yeah. It is time. Yeah, well, I don't feel like Olaf's going to be the first one we're going to fight. I feel like we're going to have to fight literally everyone. Yeah, literally everyone else first. Well, that's just good, isn't it? Right, okay. Okay, we're going to get really crowded really fast here. So Can I just take out the ones who haven't woken up yet? I can as well. That's a way better idea than what I was originally planning to do. Marvellous. Uh, no, 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 no. And are we ready? There we go. Uh, many, many he's. Oh, there's so many in here. Okay, I think I know what we're doing now. We're going over to Sanguine Rose, and we're getting a Dramora Lord to help us out. Right, Dramora Lord, help please. Now you, just basically start smashing these guys apart, because I know you can do it. Right, I just need to heal for one second here. Get that going on here. Also get around the back of you. Take you out. Lovely. Now, the three of us together are actually doing pretty good work here, so I'm just going to start taking out the little lads before they even... Oh, you're, you're not getting up. Right, okay. And are you... Screw you. Right, get that on him. Jump out the way. Lovely. Get a candlelight going on here so I can see what's going on. That's nice. Get around the back of you. You're in trouble and soon to be dead. Yeah, when there's the three of us, I think we'll be all right. And soon... Are you dead yet? And... Yeah, my Dramora is doing very nicely, though possibly his time will run out at some point or other. Right. Around the back of you. Dead. And then... Yeah, the three of us, we're doing good work here. And... Lovely. Lovely. Arise, Olaf. My vengeance is at hand. This would all make more sense if I knew anything about this story, but I don't. Right, yeah, you four are getting up first. Fine. You know, this dream team's working pretty nicely. I'm just getting another Dramora Lord. Right, you, get over there, help out. And then we'll just get a bit more help going on. Let's just get a double marked for death on you too. Oh, you're, we're getting into the flipping whites now, but a Dramora Lord and me together with this guy. I think we can handle it. Assuming one of them doesn't spawn behind me, which is probably going to be what's going to happen next, but this thing is doing the job. This glass axe. It's actually got enough firepower on it. And now just stay out of the way. Right, you're down. No match at all. Indeed, we've got more coming in. Oh, you've got a Big old sword. You're lovely. Right, and you, you've got a bow now. You know, I'm going to help just take out the main guys first and just get the he on him because that's a really nice... Oh, yeah. Oh, the damage. Oh, the Dramora. Oh, this random ghost for some reason. Um, And down he goes. Lovely. One more to go and he's just the archer. No real concern there. And then I'm assuming we are on Olaf himself. My one-handed's going up, which is welcome. And this is all going very nicely. Yeah. 
three of us together. This ghost, I should keep this ghost as a friend because he's doing really well. Right, I think my uh, Dramora is actually dead at this point. I'm just going to grab myself a little lesser soul gem. Some plentiful healing. Very good. I feel like Olaf is, yeah. Olaf's coming next. Now, what exactly is so dangerous about Olaf? King Olaf One-Eye. I mean, surely you're not going to pay attention to that guy, aren't you? And the thing is, if you're paying attention to that guy, then that means you won't pay attention to me. So, what stops me just standing behind you while you're being distracted and just basically continually putting Mark for Death on you and just wearing you down that way? Because I feel like that actually works. Oh, also, I can hear a word of power nearby. Uh, yeah, because you're definitely going for this guy. And I assume he can't die because he's part of the quest. So, actually, this weirdly is the easiest bit because we're at no risk of being swarmed. And we've almost got... Yep, we got another mark for death on you. I'm actually wearing the Talos Amulet right now, so I've got 20% reduction. So I can probably have, like, about three stacked on him at once. So he's down to, like, half health already. This is all working pretty nicely. And another one. Lovely. And actually, he seems to be unaffected by that. So actually, you know what? This is actually a real waste of my glass axe. So I'm just going to get out a double bound sword instead. There we go. And we'll just... We probably don't have a soul jam big enough for you. We might do. Uh, just in case we do. And... There we... I think I... No, no, I did get him. I can see the little purple on him right now. But yeah. Weirdly, this boss fight is a boss fight who's not paying any attention to me whatsoever. So, uh... Down you go, I guess. But I could actually completely ignore this and just basically go and deal with... Uh, deal with the other one. And let's get his soul. Get his soul. Get his soul. If we've got a big enough soul jam. Yep. Yes, we do. He's probably greater. So I've got myself a great soul. And that guy, Sven, or whatever his name was, he's pretty happy with that. Treasury key. Ebony War Axe. You know what? Having that. Totally having that. We might well improve that and see what we can do with it. So you're going through here. I've just picked up the key so I can follow you. Uh, but before we go that way, I've got myself, well, one, bag of money. And two, I always like a word wall. What is the word in question? And what spells it for? Uh, Fury... Oh! I just happened to have found the second part of Fury Whirlwind Sprint by coincidence. Yeah, that's the same thing the uh, the guys up in the monastery taught me. Right, through here. Just make sure there's no traps, because that would be the jerkest thing imaginable. And you seem to have wanted off. Or I'll meet you again at the, uh, the entrance. So, one weak poison. Iron Battle Axe. Come on, chest. Let's have some good stuff here. No garbage. Money. Let's Soul Gem Sapphire. Reverend Steel Mace. Yeah, all right. And Adept Robes of Restoration. Um, well, actually, I think that's... Oh, no, no, no. I do actually have some Adept Robes because I stole Adept Robes. I think it was Destruction from those vampires uh, on my way over here. So, yeah, that's all right. Not great. Crack open the lever. I'm assuming the ghost is, like, gonna show up again yet. Like, you know, wave goodbye or whatever. But, yep, yeah, that brings me back to the beginning. And I'm just gonna step outside just in case the... Oh! And would you believe, perfect timing, candlelight's worn off. Marvellous. Well, I think we're about done here. And any sign of... No. Sadly, no sign of him whatsoever. Yeah, I feel like now I'm swimming in soul gems thanks to the bound weaponry. If I just took that ebony axe, improved it a little bit, and put an even more powerful spell on that, that would be a logical next step for me. It would be a very logical next step indeed. So... Cave up there, I can do without each individual cave. You know what? My lust for exploring caves, uh, I can... Are you about to murder me? What's your deal? Excuse me, well, you've seen me and you're not murdering me. You are... Oh, you're just Imperials. I'm just going to put my weapons away. Hello? You there, uh, citizen. This area is off limits. You're interfering with Imperial business. Yeah, so you'll have to pay us a fine. Say, a hundred gold. Pay up, citizen. Well, this seems 100% legitimate, as is the fact the person behind you is just flipping, pushing you around. Also, why don't I get a persuade option? That's a shame. Um, you know what? I don't actually have any on me. Fine. If you can't pay with coin, you'll pay with your life. Oh, I suspect that wasn't a real soldier. That He just said, now this is a surprise. <laughs> really isn't. You just attacked me. Oh. Oh, well. You must have run off. Okay. You know what? Pay more attention to those guys, they're tough. You know what, let's just get over the river here. They're going to struggle to swing their weapons in water. And I can sprint and they probably can't. So, over here we're heading straight to... Good swimming action there! Well done, Moose. 
Right, me and you, we're just running together. Are they even following me still? No, they've given up. They're not going to bother following me over the river. Fine, in which case I can see Morthal showing up here. We're to north of Skyrim. There's a lot of snow on the ground, uh, but everything seems to be under control. And there's, ah, there's a road here that we are about to join up to. Well, that's just, thought I saw a dragon over there for a second, but we're all right for the minute. Yep. We have met up with the road. This has presumably got to be the road that leads to Morthal, right? Makes sense. It's surely the only way this can reasonably lead. And on the road, we have met a traveller. A traveller on a horse. Okay, and probably a real Imperial with you. So, who are you and what's your deal? We don't see many people on horseback. Uh, talk to the noble. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, he gets off his horse to speak to me. Oh, wait, hang on, wait. Is there someone there? Oh, no! He was getting off his horse anyway because he's going for a murder of a spider. Marvellous! Now, are you actually going to get back on that horse at this point or are you not going to start walking? Because I suspect you're not going to bother getting back on your horse. I suspect... No! No, indeed. Um, your horse is now going to head... Oh, wait, no, no, no. The horse is now trying to head back for whatever its default starting stable is. He's trying to walk to the horse and the guard is now waiting... For him to catch up. Oh, no, 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 no. He has managed to catch up. I thought he was never going to actually do it. So, he's got back on his horse. So, you know what? He's going to stick with these two. Uh, looks like there's... There's something up ahead. Campfire. Possibly bandits. As a general rule in this game, campfires aren't good things. We've got... Actually, it seems to be fine. It's just a marker of a crossroads. Okay. This is intriguing. Uh, maybe it's like an entrance point. Ah, we've got another spider up ahead too. So, you guys. Actually, no. Let's just get its attention, please. Hey there, spider. Hello. That's right. That's right. Come over here. 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 You two deal with this for me. Oh, no. You're not going on the road. You're actually coming into town. Well, if the spider decides to follow me, he'll reach them before he reaches me. And... Here we are. We have indeed reached out with death bells growing all around it. You know it's a nice town when the death bell is the primary thing. Morthal, and would you believe I've walked straight into some flipping politics. What's the Jarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Huh? So, some people are feeling nervous about what's going on in town, and they're not convinced the R is doing a great job me. here. I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. Keep your wits about you. Morthal's hardly a safe place. And Morthal is hardly a safe place, according to these people. They don't really want to tell me what's going on, but something's clearly wrong here, and I think I know what it is. But I can't remember exactly how it is I'm planning to solve it. I genuinely can't remember. I like Morthal. Morthal's good, the fact it's a little bit different to so many of the towns, because yeah, it's got the whole, uh, the water flowing into the city. It's almost like Venice. If Venice were small and crappy and you got the distinct feeling it smelt awful. The admittedly, actually, um, large parts of Venice, some parts of the East do smell awful. Because, uh, yeah, when the growth in the water gets a bit, uh, mad, then, uh, it is a little bit on the unpleasant side. But here we are, we have made it to our new town. We have got ourselves a barrow, very, very close by. And I think if we look at the map, uh, yeah, you know what? We're not actually even that far. In fact, actually, I wonder if that is the same barrow. That might be the right barrow. Uh, if it is, then there would be a... No, if the watchtower over there isn't on the map right now, probably that's not the right barrow. No, I'm facing a barrow about here. Looks like there's multiple barrows around here. So, next time, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have an explore around Morthal. We're going to have a chat with some of these guys here to figure out what's going on. Because I think... I think it's vampire. <laughs> Not 100% sure, but I'm at least moderately confident it's vampires. So we'll have an explore around, we'll have a chat to all of these lovely people, we'll find a nice shop, we'll see what's going on here, we'll see if there's anything good other than a nice shop, we'll speak to the Jarl, and we'll see if we can solve all of their problems for them. Because I suspect, as usual, we can indeed. And if I can get myself declared Jarl, all the better, because then I can start going around committing crimes like crazy, and no one can flipping stop. So, that's to come soon, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true note, and this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Haha, -ha, I'm a genius at time. Oh, oh, okay, this escalated quickly. I'd, I'd like to fly your drone. 
so good about a butterfly in a bucket? What does that tell you about the human condition? Are we the butterfly and is capitalism the bucket? What happens if you go right to the back in time? The very beginning of time. Oh, you literally just burn the universe.